and we're back with another Fortnite video. We got ourselves another month of Fortnite rewards from the crew pack. So in today's video, we are covering the cube assassin. So I'm making combos for the outfit, back blank, and pickaxe. So make sure to watch the entire video. Without further ado, let's get it started. Starting off, we have cube assassin. And for every single combo, I'll explain once we go in game. But this is what I have for the back blank, dread shield. For the pickaxe, dark strikers. For the glider, Dark Glyph. For the Contrail, Dark Feathers. And for the Wrap, Cubic Assimilation. Let's see how this works in game. All right, so this is the end of an era. Our very last crew pack in Chapter 2. It's been a great run. We got a lot of really cool rewards over the months. And this is our last one. So we have a really cool one. Purple and black color scheme. So this is very common in Fortnite. So combos, you pretty much already know what you're going to be doing. But I'm still going to show you a few. Anyways, they're all going to be expected... You know, the Dark Series items, all of them are going to be very, very good here with this skin. And that's pretty much the theme of the game. Black and purple. Everything here is really going to work if you stick with that color scheme here. The wrap here is actually really close to the actual wrap that came into the set. But obviously, you know, with the cube theme here, looks really good for the glider. Kevin, the cube here, black and purple. That's the name of the game, like I've mentioned. And don't overthink these combos. They are supposed to be clean. And I think I did a pretty good job here. Next, we have another combo for the cube assassinate. This is what I have. For the back bling, ominous orb. For the pickaxe, dread strikers. For the glider, cube cruiser. For the contrail, dark feathers. And for the wrap, violet tentacles. Let's see how this works in game. Okay, combo number two, we're going to stick with the black and purple color scheme. I think it's the way to go when it comes to making combos for her. We don't have to overthink this. It's just supposed to be nice and clean. Maybe you add some theme, you know, with the Kevin, the cube stuff. But I do like this back bling here for one reason, because this could be some sort of purple zero point. And it kind of goes well for the theme, you know, of the cube assassin. Looks pretty good, though, but it's really for the color scheme, black and purple. Same thing here goes for the pickaxe, and same thing goes for the wrap here, black and purple. Like I said, don't overthink these combos. Nice and easy and clean at the same time. For the glider, you know, a little bit of a theme, you know, because we do have the Kevin the Cube glyphs on it, and it's actually a cube. But like I said, black and purple. Those are your best friends for combos here. Here's some extra backlinks that you can use with the cube assassin. And like I mentioned earlier, you don't have to overthink these combos. Just black and purple. That's pretty much all you need. You can maybe make a theme like the wild cube here. And you know, go from there. This one, the lightning cloak does have a little bit of gold there at the top. So keep that in mind. You might have to stretch it onto the pickaxe. The shackled stone, Kevin the cube theme, black and purple. Illusion rune, you're going to have to add some pink there. But let me wait here a couple of seconds so you can see maybe when it's reactive that it does have that pink shade there on the glyphs. One more second. There we go. As you can see here, and now it looks really good. So you're going to have to have this fully reacted to make it look good. The same goes for the hollow skull here. Dusk wings. I think wings are really aggressive looking on her. You can maybe make it work if you find the right color scheme. Dread shroud looks very good on her. I do like the aggressiveness on it. We have the coven cape here because the inside of it is purple. Looks really good on this angle here. As you can tell, Lady Cage does have some extra color, some brown and some gold there, but I really chose it because of the purple in the middle. This is her back bling. Obviously, it's going to work. We have the Crystal Spirit, one of my favorite ones for combos. Looks very good on her. Glass Wings, the purple style. I kind of like wings on her. We have the Hollow Glyph with the Kevin. The Cube Wrap looks really clean here, actually, with the glyphs. The Contender does have a little bit of red, so keep that in mind. And last but not least, we have the Victory Crest, which you're probably going to have to add some gold onto the pickaxe to make it work. Next, we have a combo for the backlink called the Cubist, and this is what I have. For the Outfit, Rebirth Raven. For the pickaxe, Smolders. For the Glider, Corrupted Tendrils. For the Contrail, Celestial. And for the Wrap, Fox Clan Future. Let's see how this works in game. Moving on to the back bling, and I actually don't like running any back bling with Raven, but I really like the way that this one sits here. It's floating at a nice spot, and I also like the vibes of Kevin the Cube and Raven together. I think they fit together really, really well. For the pickaxe, this is my favorite axis to use it with her. The color scheme is absolutely perfect. You see that she has all of this red and gold detailed on her, and the pickaxe pretty much has that. And the little bit of gold is not overpowering, and I think it's perfect, and it also fits the vibes quite well. For the wrap... The red is a little bit off here, but it's got all the colors that you're looking for here. Uh, purple on the outer parts, red in the middle, some black as well. Looks very good here regardless. And for the glider, this is really for the theme. If you watch the, the Titan show on HBO, this goes perfectly here 
with her vibes. And the pink's not that far off from the purple that she has. Looks very good here regardless. Next, we have another combo for the back bling, And this is what I have for the outfit, Night Witch. For the pickaxe, Dark Dino Bones. For the glider, Swarm. For the control, Dino Feather. And for the wrap, Falling Leaf. Let's see how this works in game. Combo number two for the back bling. And to my surprise, it was actually quite universal. It goes on a ton of outfits. But I really like it here on her. It's super aggressive. And let me also put it out. You can maybe see her eye colors that they're super bright and purple. So this back bling, when it's fully reacted, it's also going to go. They look very, very good here with her. For the pickaxe, the theme is perfect. You know, some bones here goes really well with the vibes. But it also has purple-ish pink on the tips of the bones. So it looks really perfect here, actually. One of my favorite, if not my favorite pickaxe to use with her looks very good for the wrap this is definitely a stretch here but she does have some orange on her waist as you can see here but falling leaves maybe goes with the vibes maybe but it's really a stretch from the orange that i was talking about looks good though for the glider i think this is really for the aggressive theme the color scheme is also there but like i said it looks really aggressive and i think it goes really well with her here Here's some extra outfits that you can use with the back bling. And like I mentioned earlier, it's quite universal. You can put on a lot of stuff. And especially the dark series, you know, it's going to work wonders. The dark Scully skin that just came out. This is one of the cleanest ones that I found looks very good on her. Dark Heart, same thing here. Goes with the vibes. The color scheme is there. Dark Jonesy, another one from the dark series. And the last one that I have here from the dark series, the dark Tri Triceratops, excuse me, looks very good on her as well. Ravage got the right color scheme. The theme is also there. Fade has a lot of purple on him. Kind of like the cube on him. Looks pretty good. Catalyst with this edit style with all of those purple lights. This looks really cool here, especially when it's animated. Psylocke. It's got the right color scheme. It matches really well with her hair color. Molten Battle Hound. This is a stretch from the eye colors there, as you can see. But I kind of like it here for the vibes. It's like possessed with Kevin the Cube. Looks really good. Beast Boy for the color scheme. I already showed Raven. Might as well show him too. Looks pretty good here. Fire Assassin. I kind of like this edit style here the best with the back bling looks pretty good touring i wanted to show the purple kevin edit style on her it's perfect on her you know the, the theme of kevin the cube is really great it's also sitting in a very nice spot there on the cape crazy eight stretch of purple from his face looks pretty good the cube assassin that's what the back bling belongs to obviously it works delirium kind of like the vibes here on him very aggressive looks really good geometric expect it but you know it's a cube skin with the cube back bling makes sense dream very very clean here actually you can maybe make a theme you know because of the event that we had the butterfly event and we have kevin the cube here makes sense callisto here really good for the color scheme trespasser elite you know another cube skin with the cube back playing looks really clean shadow midas very good here actually midnight dusk i think any of these goth skins are gonna work really wonders for the color scheme gray feather looks really good here he does have a lot of purple on his body and last but not least we have jet Next, we have a combo for the pickaxe called Cube Edge. And this is what I have for the outfit, Trespasser Elite. For the back bling, Chimera's Plasma Pack. For the glider, God Slayer Glideboard. For the Contrail Glyphs and for the wrap, Maximal Drift. Let's see how this works in game. Moving on to the pickaxe. And pretty much every outfit that I favorite showing you the back bling, these pickaxes are going to work on. So I selected one of them and decided to finish off the combo here. Looks really good here on him. Let me also show you that this works just like Geometrix pickaxe. That you just have to hit the, the, the weak points of any builds. And you see here that the pickaxe actually gets reactive. Looks really good here. My combo is just a balance of black and purple. I do like the cube here for the theme on the pickaxe. It goes really well with this edit style on the outfit. And I'm sure I've showed you this combo before here. This outfit and back link together. Just choosing a different pickaxe here. But it looks very good here regardless. For the wrap, the maximal drift, it's perfect for this color scheme here. Let me also show everything here at nighttime. And that looks incredible. That's something that you just want to stare at it for a very long time because it looks very good. For the glider, perfect color scheme. I do love the purple in the middle. Let me jump here one more time so you can see it. Yeah, the aggressiveness to it is perfect. The purple in the middle also is perfect. And like I said, this is a very easy set for combos. You don't have to overthink any of them. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the combos. And if you did, let me know with the like. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.